Hello Taurus, happy new year. Welcome to 2022. This is going to be a very dynamic and life-changing year for you, without a doubt. Guys, between Uranus in your sign, the eclipses in your sign and your partnership sector, and a host of other major celestial events, if you haven't already purchased your 2022 year ahead special video forecast, you want to do so. It is available as a standalone product. You can click the link at the description box below to get to my website. It is only a few bucks and it really will give you all of the information that you need to navigate this year ahead successfully in detail. If you prefer, you can join my membership program here on my YouTube channel. There are so many benefits to membership, guys. Depending on the level that you choose, you click that join button next to the subscribe button on my homepage or underneath any of my videos, and you can find out about all the perks to the different levels of membership that I offer. And my favorite, of course, is level three, where you get all of those exclusive videos plus access to me as your personal astrologer during my Ask Maria live streams for members only. So go ahead, check out the membership, or please at least buy your um, your standalone year ahead because I am telling you, you and Scorpio, life-changing year ahead, okay? But let's talk about January and how it all begins now in January for you. We do begin the month with a heavy influence of energy in your ninth house. This is publishing, advertising, broadcasting your special message out there into the world. It is the legal world. It is education, your, your academic pursuits, and your spirituality, as well as your belief system, your morals. And Venus, your ruling planet, is still retrograde here until January 29th. So you are really creating some important revisions around your belief system, around your personal uh, worth, connected to how you spread your message, what you believe in, and how you communicate it to others. And so if you are making money in any ninth house venture, you're making some tweaks to that as the month begins and for most of the month. At the same time, on January 2nd, there is a beautiful new moon that lands right here in your ninth house. And this new moon says, yes, Taurus, there is a brand new opportunity for you to move forward in a publishing, advertising, broadcasting venture, to teach what you know on, on a mass scale, to advance yourself spiritually in some way, okay? And this new moon is perfectly trine, great supportive aspect, Uranus the planet of innovation and change, which is in your sign. So this new moon is very, very personal for you. And it is positive. It is so positive. There is like, I see this new moon for you as unexpected enlightenment in a ninth house way. And once you receive that enlightenment, you're ready to share it in a big way with other people. Beautiful, beautiful. So... Now let's talk about your career because, <coughs> excuse me, on the 14th, Mercury will go retrograde at the top of your chart. And this is not a stumbling block necessarily. This is actually you revising those plans that you have for your professional success and development over the next year. Before you go ahead and just push, 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 you want to take a step back and say, all right, is this the right plan of action to achieve this goal? What do I have to do to stay relevant in my industry in terms of technology, Aquarius, in terms of being a little innovative, setting myself apart from my contemporaries, from other people in my industry? These are your thoughts as Mercury is retrograde across your, your 10th house. And you might reconnect with an old boss or an old goal that you've had for a long time that you kind of just put on the shelf for one of these days. Well, one of these days is today. It is now. So it's time to take that project off the shelf, dust it off, take a good look and say, all right, this is what I have to do to make it really shine. And that's your job while Mercury is retrograde at the top of your chart. 
So then on the 17th, we have a full moon in Cancer. This is illuminating your third house. Siblings, there may be emotionally charged news from a sibling. It is possible that this is just about heavily emotional communications from you or becoming aware of a very emotional decision that has to be made connected to family matters. There could be a bit of a power struggle. This, For some of you, this may have to do with a legal decision that is family related and, and it gets a little tense. It gets a little supercharged around this full moon time. So you're going to have to kind of work through that. But then on the 18th, the very next day, Uranus turns direct in your sign. Guys, with Uranus direct, now it's on as, as far as changes go. The changes in your life are about to go full speed ahead. And the middle degree, Taurus or Taurus rising, or if you have a personal planet in the middle degrees of Taurus, you guys are up in 2022 for the most invigorating, liberating life changes, and also sometimes destabilizing because in order to create massive growth and change in our life, there is an unsteadiness, there is an uncertainty, there is a, you have to go where no one ever has gone before and, and you're the one doing it, okay? It's, it's like, um, you know, the first man that walked on the moon had no idea what it was gonna be like, right? And yet, he did it, one step at a time. And so you're, you're walking on the moon, basically. You're about to do that. You are now a space cadet. You're exploring new territory in your life that will define your new existence that you're creating because you are liberating yourself from this suffocating old existence that you've had. And so that is going to be, you're going to feel it. You're going to, this goes direct around uh, 10 and a half degrees of Taurus, I believe. Let me just double check that. It's, uh, yes, 10 degrees, 49 minutes of Taurus. So anything that you've got close to that degree, it's palpable. It's like caffeine running through your veins at this time. Major, major shifts. So then... The end of the month is a Capricorn heavy time. Again, the month begins with heavy Capricorn energy. The month ends with heavy Capricorn energy. On the 24th, Mars enters Capricorn, which means it goes into your ninth house. Then on the 25th, Mercury retrogrades out of Aquarius and into Capricorn. So Mercury is going to actually retrograde into your ninth house. And then on the 29th, Venus goes direct. So this, this mashup of Capricorn energy in your ninth house is continuing to develop that new ninth house opportunity that you've got. But again, it is, it's a push to move forward, but it is also tweaking as you go. So you are going to make rapid progress. I am sure of that. But the rapid progress that you make is probably going to look a little different than what you originally anticipated. So just go with the flow when it comes to that energy at the end of the month. All right, so Taurus, again, Happy New Year. This is going to be a very pivotal month for you in many ways, and the year ahead, definitely so.